Hello everyone, welcome to my wax and candle empties for December and Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a safe, prosperous, healthy New Year. I hope everything goes well. Um, I don't celebrate New Year's, I haven't done that for years. Um, I just, uh, with the bad luck this family has and all the things that have happened, I, I just don't jinx it. So I just, I just, uh, at midnight I was reading my book and um, that was about all the excitement we had. So, anywho, um, so today, uh, whoops, it's supposed to be good luck to uh, burn a bayberry scent um, on a New Year's Eve or New Year's Day or whatever. It's supposed to bring in good luck. Uh, so, yeah, why not? So, right now in my Scentsy centerpiece over yonder, I don't know which way I'm pointing here. Over there anyhow, I do have um, Yankee Candles Snow Dusted Bayberry. Abby, oh, she does that when, before she goes to sleep. Um, anyway, yeah, this one is strong in any form, uh, candle form, centerpiece, wax melts. This is always a strong thrower. And yeah, um, our Yankee has clothes, and I don't think they're shipping to Canada anymore. So, anyway, I've got lots of Yankees to use up. Oh, Abby, give it a rest. Abby. Um, but anyway, it is just a very lovely herbal type scent. Um, I wish more of the, uh, the berries kind of came through, but it is just a really lovely, lovely scent. Alrighty, so I didn't really get through a ton this month and I think the reason is I was just trying so many different uh, new fragrances. Uh, I, have, I think some of these I started last month and just kind of finished them up in that but I was trying so many different scents because there's so many wonderful winter Christmas like scents to go through uh, but I did manage to finish up a few. Uh, so I will start with this one. Now this I've had burning this morning in my really pretty uh, candle holder from Bath and Body Works and this I would certainly set out year-round I think it's just absolutely beautiful it kind of reminds me of like a tin ceiling the Victorian um, kind of look it's, it's such a pretty candle holder and that is uh, butter rum and eggnog from Bath and Body Works so yeah, I don't have too much left in here. This was a 20, oh, this was a 2018 pour. Um, but yeah, uh, I don't know if I really get eggnog from this. Uh, not an authentic eggnog. I really do get a nutty scent. That's what I pick up with this one. Kind of a creamy, nutty kind of scent. Maybe, maybe... Uh, the butter rum it might be in the background, but I just get this kind of creamy, nutty kind of scent. Probably has about a 7 out of 10 throw, just a, stronger than a medium throw. Haven't had any issues with the burn, um, just a little bit of soot there, but I think that was from my Costco flamethrower, <laughs> the lighters I buy from Costco. Uh, but yeah, I'll just be finishing this up today. I'm pop that back in there and then this is uh, twisted peppermint and this is um, just from this year actually uh, I don't know why I I always try to use up my older candles and kind of move forward uh, but anyway um, yeah twisted peppermint that's just a, a classic I know it said hint of musk in it I, I I don't get a musky scent at all. I just get the peppermint and the vanilla and it's strong. 10 out of 10 throw. Um, don't ha didn't have any issues with the burn that I remember with that one. And I just love peppermint scent or the candy cane scents um, in the winter time. And this is peppermint sugar cookie. I've gone through a few of these. And this is from 2020. Crushed peppermint, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. So yeah, I do get that creamy mint scent. Uh, the sugar, I think I probably get like 75% of the creamy peppermint and then 25% of the sugar cookie. The peppermint definitely is kind of the, the stronger scent. 
Um, but I mean, compared to Twisted Peppermint, this is much tamer. Um, but yeah, this one always has a really good throw and it's just a really yummy scent. And then this is Power. Um, this came out in 2017 and the notes are dark wood, smoked tonka, and black pepper. Oh, this one was just such a good scent. It does remind me of a Bath and Body Works scent, but I just can't remember which one now. Just, it's on the tip of my brain. Oh, but it's just such a rich, deep, woodsy vanilla scent. Very, very rich vanilla. Um, the black pepper I don't get so much, but yeah, it's just, it's like vanilla birch, but amped up. Like, just vanilla birch on steroids, basically. Um, it is such a cozy, I find wood scents very cozy and relaxing and comforting. This one just filled up my bedroom, no issues with the burn. Oh my gosh, this one, it, it was good. It was very, very good. I wished at the time I had gotten more because I think it was, um, I don't know if it was on the SAS sale at one point, but anyway, um, such a good one. And this is hot cocoa and cream, so God knows how many I've gone through of these. Um, this is from just this year. Uh, <clears throat> Decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. Yes, it smells like the Nescafe um, powdered hot chocolate with the little bunny on it. That's what it reminds me of from my childhood. Uh, no issues with the burn. 10 out of 10 throw. Just a perfect scent uh, for this time of year. So yeah, all those were such good scents for the winter time. All right, so I just got through, I just finished up the four candles. Um, oh, sorry, almost five. Uh, but yeah, I just try, I was trying just so many different ones. And then um, a good friend and a subscriber who would like to remain anonymous uh, sent me some vendor wax. And thank you again, you know who you are. Um, and yeah, she knows my scent preferences quite well. So, um, this is from Up the Creek Scents, and she sent me quite a few from different vendors. Uh, but this is Up the Creek, and these are a couple of peppermint scents. And this is Peppermint Bean Noel, and Candy Cane Sugar Cookies. And oh my gosh, these were so good. The Candy Cane and Sugar, it... Yeah. Um, and sugar cookies. Yeah, it just, it smells like those sugar cookies you make and then you sprinkle it with all the the uh, candy cane crumbs and that. Oh, it's just so, so good. It's a very sugary candy cane scent. And then Peppermint Noel, Bean Noel. Um, so this was more of a kind of straight up peppermint. It softened a little bit with the vanilla. But these are both very strong and long-lasting. Uh, those are really good. And then, oh, I'm getting too old to sit like this. Oh, anyway, oops, now you can't see me. There we go. Um, so this is Sensational's Berry Spice. Abigail stepping on my wax here. Yeah, I don't think you can get this anymore, uh, but I'm glad I stocked up. I hoarded this, and I'm glad I did. It's a dual pack of cranberry chutney and spruce. And it is... <laughs> you can see the flame from the fireplace through there. Oh, anyway, um, the cranberry is a sweet cranberry, very deep, rich, sweet cranberry. And uh, it's kind of more dominant than the, the spruce. It's like about 60% cranberry, 40% spruce. But oh my gosh, this is such a deep, rich, decadent, perfect combination of these two scents. I just love cranberry scents or uh, winter berry scents. Uh, mixed with evergreen scents. This is so good. It's strong and it's long lasting. And oh my god, oh, this is one, probably one of my favorite sensationals, um, is Grandpa's Workshop. And yes, I still have a few packages because I stocked up big time with this one also. 
This is crushed cardamom and the other side is tobacco and cedar, another dual pack. Oh my gosh, this is so strong, so long lasting. I This is probably, I don't know, five, six years old, this package. It's still going strong. I can put um, just one cube of each scent into the family room and it fills up the family room. This thing is strong. I gotta tell you a story. I went to Quebec City years ago and I took my little portable warmer with me and I took this with me and uh, I had it on in the hotel room. Went out to dinner, came back and to get to our room you get off the elevator, you walk about I don't know 15 feet, turn around and go another 50 feet or so to our, our room. It's quite long hallways in this hotel. I got off the elevator after coming back from supper. I could smell this. That's how strong it was. I'm going, oh, what's that smell? Oh my God, that smells so good. And I'm going, oh my God, that's that's my uh, grandpa's workshop. So yeah, this one is strong, long lasting. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm just kind of rationing it. I do not want to run out of this one. It is so good. It's just a very, uh, uh, very, very warm, spice cardamom and the, the cedar is not an overly strong woodsy scent and the tobacco leaf is not like cigarette smoke or anything like that it's just kind of a warmer type of greener scent but oh my gosh so so good and this is from the bon voyage line from sensational this is icelandic lights um, now this one is more of a colony type scent I just wish it wasn't quite as clony. Um, I mean, I don't mind it, but um, I just wish they would have added some woods or or just uh, maybe a little peppermint, something just to kind of amp it up a little bit instead of just being kind of just straight up clony. Uh, this is Fall in Love with Tuscany. This is an, another old Sensationals. I think I have three or four of these packages left. I really hoarded the packages um, if I really liked it, and I'm glad I did, because these ones are like, I said, maybe four or five, maybe even older, and they're still going strong. So this one is a very, oh, this one's hard to explain. It's very earthy. It's kind of a mix between a greenery and a woodsy scent, but very earthy. But oh, it's, it's, it's so good. I really, really love that one and then this is vanilla oud by Sen sensi and uh yeah i really really enjoy this one this one is so long lasting i just put in a couple of cubes and it fills up the bedroom and it uh it lasts a long time like it takes a long time for this one the the scent to settle down but yeah i do love vanilla and wood scents mixed together there's just something about it so so good really enjoy that one and this is sensationals this is from the day of the deadline and this is dame de mort i think that's the dead lady or lady of the dead the katrina yeah lady of the dead i'm reading the spanish instead of the english uh la katrina lady of the dead and this is a, a purple wax and I like this for the bedroom or the bathroom. It's a kind of a musky perfumey scent. Oh, it's so good. There's a little bit of fruit in there too, almost like maybe a grapey kind of fruit, um, but a really nice soft uh, perfumey scent. And yeah, really strong and long lasting. And like I said, it's perfect for the bedroom or bathroom. This is Sensational's Coffee Cafe, and again, I stocked up on this before it disappeared. I don't think you can get it anymore. I haven't seen it. Spice Sugar Cookie and Mocha Frappe Latte, and yeah, this is a really, really good, sweet, gourmand kind of uh, coffee scent, strong and long-lasting. This is First Snow by Country Home Candles, which is a store here in Ontario. They do online. They did close their physical store at one point, but I think they reopened it. Um, but this first snow, it smells like you're walking into a wood cabin and you can smell that wood and someone's burning a peppermint candle. Uh, just that fresh kind of wood and peppermint mixture. 
Oh, it is so good. Um, but this did have a light throw. I did have to kind of stick with a, a smaller room with this one and not overly long lasting. Wonderful scent though, really, really good. And this is from Ella After Wax. This is Appetite for Marvelous. This is caramelized pralines and sugar cookie dough. And you can definitely smell like that, that sugary, nutty praline uh, scent with this one. Oh, this was good. This one actually did fill up my kitchen. Um, I mean, it wasn't overwhelming or anything, but it did fill up the kitchen. Lasted a moderate amount of time, but yeah, that one was really, really good. And this is Iced Lake by Sensationals. I think this came out a couple of years ago. And this is a very bright uh, spearmint scent. Now, it's not toothpaste spearmint. Not to me. It's not toothpaste at all. It's just this bright um, spearmint scent. I think they maybe mix a little bit of vanilla in there um, just to kind of tame it down a little bit. But yeah, I do love spearmint for the, the winter time. And this is a Paradise. Oh my gosh, this is so old. This is probably like seven years old or something like that. Um, oh, it is so deep. It, uh, if you're familiar with Rainy Day by Sensationals, this is just kind of Rainy Day, which is a very strong, heavy floral. Um, this one's very, very similar to that one too. But yeah, strong and long lasting. This was still potent after all these years. And uh, last but not least is Better Homes uh, Sparkling Berry Garland. Oh, this one's so good. This is another one of those winter berry scents mixed with the evergreens. Oh, this is so good. Mm, it's, a, it's a sugary, soft uh, type of uh, berry and um, there's a little bit of evergreen in the background, but it's kind of maybe like 75, 80% berry, and then you get the evergreen. But oh, it's, it's so soft, very sweet. Yum, yum. Okay, so that's it. So yeah, I didn't get through a ton, but yeah, I'm just trying so many different scents. Um, it's just the most wonderful time of the year. Uh, for all these yummy, cozy, very cozy, comforting scents. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed, and everyone take care. Give your loved ones a hug and kiss. And again, I hope this new year works out on the positive side for everyone. Uh, so we'll see you later. Bye-bye.